So I'm Bertrand Le Boucher, I'm the PhD and postdoctoral fellow for the CTN. And I work in McGill, I'm the principal investigator for the CTN PT006. Uh, it's a pilot study and we know that people who are uh, infected with HIV, even if they are under uh, antiretrovirals, uh, sometimes they, have, they are undetectable but they have low CD4 and they have difficulty to gain a better uh, and stronger immunity. So, and we know that people who are HIV infected, they have uh, an hypercatabolism or tri on tryptophan. It is an amino acid very important for our body. And because of this hypercatabolism, they have with immune activation low CD4 and probably they have low serotonin. And serotonin is an important neurotransmitter for neurocognitive function. So we want to block this hypercatabolism of tryptophan with niacin, it's vitamin B3, and this niacin will help us to increase the level of tryptophan uh, in the body, and probably we will achieve a better uh, CD4 increase uh, thanks to the niacin, and probably to improve neurocognitive function. And it's important because thanks to Marie-José Brouillette and his team of neuropsychologists in McGill, it will be probably one of the first studies to, uh, with a very important evaluation of neurocognitive function. And it's important topic for HIV infected individuals because probably 30% of them are, uh, who are HIV infected are in the same times with neurocognitive problems.